Today I'm going to show you a quick way of installing Raspbian on your Raspberry Pi with a static IP without having to hook up a keyboard or a monitor. So first thing I want to go get Raspbian. So I'm going to use Raspbian Stretch Lite because I intend for this to be headless so I don't need any of the UI stuff. We'll wait for that to download. So anytime you download something from the web, if they give you a checksum like this, you should check it. Uh, it's just a simple way to tell that you actually got what you think you got. It's not perfect, but it's better than nothing. Okay, that appears to match. So let's unzip the package. And this will bring the image file out of the zip file so we can actually write it to our SD card. Okay, I'm going to put my SD card in. So you can see my system has auto-mounted the card. Yours may do the same. We need to clear those up before we move on. So I want to look and see where this was mounted. So mine's MMC block zero. You can see that uh, P1 is mounted there. Okay, so I'm going to unmount that. Now I can move on. So now I'm just going to write that image that we downloaded directly to the SD card. Well, this could take a little while. Okay, once that's done, I'm going to pop my SD card back out and put it back in to get the system to reread it. Again, it's going to auto mount. You can see there's two mounts there. rootfs and boot we're going to touch them both so the first thing we want to do is turn on the open ssh server so that's easy enough your media directory may be different from mine so watch out for that it's in the boot partition we're going to touch a file called ssh no extension next we're going to edit a file in etsy that will let us set our ip that's on the other partition We're just going to go to the bottom of this file and put in the information for our IP address. So it's interface eth0 because we're setting up the wired interface. We want a static IP address. I'm just going to use for mine 192.168.0.5, the 24-bit net mask. My router is at 192.168.0.1 and make sure that's routers with an S and my router provides domain name service so we'll set that as the servers and that's all save that and exit now all we have to do is unmount that and put it in our pie so let's do that Both P1 and P2 are mounted now because there were two partitions uh, in that image. Just pop it out. We're going to put it in our Pi. Okay, I've put the SD card in my Pi. I've hooked up the network cable and I've applied power. So now it's just a waiting game to see when it comes up. It looks like it's up for me, so now I'm going to secure shell into it. The default password is Raspberry. We've enabled SSH and the default password is Raspberry and everybody knows that. So uh, it gives us a warning message here that says we need to change that as soon as possible. We're going to do that, uh, but we're going to run Raspberry config anyway so that'll let us do it so the first thing we're going to do change the user password put in what you like we're going to make a few other quick changes here i'm in the u.s so i'm going to set my locale up for the u.s
select UTF-8. I'm going to set my time zone. And I'll go ahead while I'm here and set the uh, Wi-Fi country in case uh, I want to hook up Wi-Fi later. So the first thing I like to do with a Raspbian install, um, it's likely to have changed. There's probably security updates, maybe other package updates since the image was created. So I like to go ahead and update those so that I'm working with the latest stuff. Looks like this one is good. We're good to go. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.